Hey guys, Rich Pacini, your YouTube vlogger and creator here. Today I want to talk about how can a new YouTuber deal with thumbs down on their videos. Well, every now and then that topic pops up, so I thought I'd make a quick little video about it. I hope you guys can stick around. I'm going to minimize the screen here, and we're going to go to ChatGPT and see what they have to say about that. So that's coming up. Stick around. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to mute my mic. If you guys could stick around and listen to this, or you could read it, it's up to you. And uh, I hope the information I put out, you get a takeaway from it. And if you do, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. And if you want to be updated, so I post new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. Okay, so without further ado, let's start it. I'm going to mute my mic right now. How can a new YouTuber deal with thumbs down on their videos? Dealing with thumbs down, dislikes, on YouTube can be disheartening especially for new content creators. However, it's crucial to remember that even the most popular YouTubers receive dislikes on their videos. Here are some strategies and perspectives to help cope and respond to them. Constructive criticism. Some dislikes might come with constructive feedback in the comments section. Instead of getting disheartened, use this feedback to improve your content. Focus on the positives. Every video, regardless of the topic, is likely to get some dislikes. Concentrate on the thumbs up, positive comments, and the supportive community you are building. Gain perspective. Remember that dislikes can come from a variety of reasons, sometimes unrelated to the content. A viewer might not like the video's topic, have personal biases, or even misclick. Stay consistent. Do not let dislikes discourage you from creating content. Staying consistent with uploads can help you improve, grow your audience, and gain more likes and positive engagement over time. Thick skin, as a content creator, developing a thick skin is essential. Not everyone will like what you do, and that's okay. Engage with your audience, building a strong community can help mitigate the effects of dislikes. Engage with your subscribers, reply to comments, and foster a positive community. Avoid feeding the trolls, sometimes, people dislike or leave negative comments just to get a reaction. It's usually best not to engage with these individuals. Analyze analytics, YouTube provides in-depth analytics. Dive into them to see if there are particular patterns with dislikes. Maybe there's a specific segment in your video that people aren't enjoying, and understanding this can help you make better content in the future. Stay true to yourself. While it's essential to listen to feedback, it's also vital to remain authentic. If you are passionate about your content and believe in its value, keep pushing forward. Remember the algorithm. YouTube's algorithm considers both likes and dislikes as engagement. So, in a way, a dislike still indicates that someone interacted with your content. Consider turning off ratings. If you find the dislikes are affecting your mental well-being, consider turning off the ratings for a while. Although this might not be a long-term solution, it can give you some breathing space. Finally, understand that growth takes time. Almost every successful YouTuber has faced their share of challenges, including dislikes. Stay focused on your passion and goals, and use both positive and negative feedback as tools for growth. Well, that's all I have for you right now, folks. If you found this video to be helpful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post up new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. This is Rich Bassini signing off. I'll talk to you guys the next time. Bye-bye for now.